my lovelies and welcome back to my channel, Lid101, and today I have an exciting video. I should probably stop saying this because every video to me is very exciting, but this one's even more exciting because the product that I will be looking at today is... I know you know this gold packaging. Oh my goodness, everybody knows this gold packaging. The Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm trying to make sure that I angle it so you guys don't get blinded. It is the Becca Jaclyn Hill face palette. So first things first, let's discuss the scandal that went on with the eye palette. I personally was never really interested in the eye palette only because I didn't feel like the colors were unique enough or something that I desperately needed in my collection or something that I didn't already have in my collection. And although I am familiar with the fact that Becca's formula is normally very, very good, I just didn't feel like the colors were going to do anything too spectacular on my skin tone. When I heard that the eyeshadows for the Becca Jaclyn Hill collaboration were not up to par and up to the standards as the other eyeshadows in Becca's collection, I was not too terribly like affected by it, but I do know that there were a lot of people who were really looking forward to the eyeshadows who weren't too pleased. If you're unpleased with your uh, eyeshadow palette, please take it back to Sephora. They are giving full refunds. On other news, because of that scandal that happened with the eyeshadow palette, that led to a lot of talk of maybe the face palette not being up to par either. I can only tell you honestly what my thoughts are and what I researched. So for my research end of it, the shimmering perfectors as well as the blushes are according to the box the same formula. However, when I was swatching the Becca face palette, in the store and I compared it to Champagne Pop, the original one, um, the, and I compared it to their display that they also had in the store, I did notice that the display was softer. So it was actually extremely easy for me to pick up product. And when I swatched it on my hand, which I will insert pictures of those here. And so when I swatched it on my hand, you'll notice that the actual swatch for the original um, Champagne Pop is a lot brighter than the Champagne Pop that is featured in this particular palette. But also in this palette, it's a lot harder. So I, it's the same color. You just pick up less pigment when you swatch it with your finger because the formula in here, although it's the same ingredients, it's a little harder in the face palette. And I personally think they did it on purpose because I am aware that Becca highlighters do have a tendency to break easily because of the soft formula. So I do think that it might have been a very conscious choice to make it a little tougher so that way if something were to happen, you don't, you don't have the threat of breaking your very expensive palette as easily. So again, take with green salt. So let's open it, shall we? Yes, yes we shall. So First things first, you have this beautiful packaging out here. You have this beautiful packaging right here with Jacqueline's face on it. And let's be honest, I am not interested in the box. So now I'm just gonna open that. And so now that I finally have it open, we just take this and it slides out. I'm gonna be very gentle because I don't know what's going to happen. Ooh, it even has a little protective casing over it, which is really exciting to me because then it protects it even more. Um, also you get a Becca Backlit Priming Filter Sample, because apparently this priming filter sample thing is Jacqueline's favorite at the moment. So yeah, I'll try that out later. Anyway, so now that I have the box and stuff, woo, that was loud. So now I can open and right quick, we have the show of what we get on the inside and it's just telling me what the names are. You have this beautiful amount of sparkle right there, and it has Jaclyn Hill's name right there in the center with Becca kind of circling around it. And then around the Becca Jaclyn Hill emblem, you have the sparkle, which is supposed to represent confetti for champagne and blah, 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 yada, yada. And for presentation, just to keep it all nice and clean, you get this wonderful little peely thingy. I'm gonna be why are those things so satisfying just to peel off of things like electronics, TVs, ev telephones, everything. It's just so satisfying just to peel it off and then you have it all nice and shiny and ready for fingerprints. So you have this beautiful mirror, which I'm only going to show you like that. Holy snap, that is so clear. I can see all my pores. Anyway, you also get this lovely little 
wobbly wobbly thing. Now that I've grabbed some toilet paper so that way I won't blind the flying flip out of you guys because this thing is already shiny enough. So first off we have, oh goodness, oh there it goes again. Oh, there we go. All right, so we have in the palette, um, Prosecco Pop, which is her brand spanking new highlight, which she created specifically for deeper toned women, which I personally, that was the cherry on top that made me want to go after this palette even more because when she actually listened to everybody and said, you know what, I need to make a highlighter that is brown girl friendly, I was like, yes. So when I heard that that was one of her main reasons of creating Prosecco Pop here, I had to get this palette because I am full support of anyone who realizes, you know, not everything works on lighter skin as it does on deeper tones. Like I was saying, this is Prosecco Pop. It is her brand new highlighter. It is also one of the limited edition colors. This is Champagne Pop over here. It's the really well-known color that really just kind of launched this entire collaboration. And I do believe she came out with it last year about this time and that's when it really blew up. So that one is Champagne Pop. Over here we have the blushes. On this end, the bright, bright, like actually, you know what? <laughs> we match. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so moving right back along. So this one is Pample Mousse, and that is such a fun name to say. So this one is Pample Mousse. It is a bright pinky coral. Like when I say bright, I mean so bright. So bright, y'all. It's this whoo. You're gonna need to take like a very light brush for this one. Just immediately I could tell you that. Anyway, so moving right along, we have this one in the middle and this one is Amaretto. It is a, supposed to be, her intentions were to have it be a kind of bronzer that this one would go on top as your blush and then this one over here, which is uh, Rose Spritz, would go on top as a br blush topper and you could use all of this at once or you could use one at a time. I can tell you for darn sure this won't be a bronzer on me, but those of you who are interested in wearing it like that, that is a way that you can um, look at wearing it. And I personally think it's a really fascinating way to wear such a very beautiful palette. Let's be honest, we makeup lovers, sometimes when we find something absolutely diehard gorgeous, we just want all of it on our face. On that at that moment so the fact that she even thought about that and made it in such a way that you could have it all on your face at one time is really freaking spectacular so props to Jacqueline on that so these two over here these are matte blushes with a slight satin finish I want to say slightly satin finish and they are mineral blushes this one over here though this isn't a satin finish this is a shimmery finish like not quite that shimmery, but very shimmery. So it is a luminous blush and it's going to give you a very luminous glow, which you can again top with your preferred highlighter, probably one of these in the palette. I actually really made this makeup look so that way I could wear this particular palette today. It's all I am so excited. I'm going to take a Morphe E3 brush. I did go in on the 40% off sale of the Elite brushes and I kind of went a little ham. I am so feeling, honestly, because it's not very often that you can go in with this beautiful color right here. So I am feeling pample mousse right now. Like Amaretto, I know I'm pretty much positive love it love 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 it but i am so feeling this bright coral color right here just gonna dip my brush in like that and look at that pigment right there oh my goodness and here we go boop, boop, boop. Whew. yeah i'm so glad i only dipped lightly oh yep oh my goodness this is so pretty I hope you guys can see this. This is so freaking pretty. So pretty. Such a soft pink on me that I am just, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this so much. Um, now I'm going to take a stereotypical fan brush that I got in a kit. I'm feeling kind of Prosecco poppy. So I'm going to take a little bit of Prosecco pop. Just kind of take that on my brush right there. And I'm going to place it on my cheekbones. Here we go. Oh goodness. Shushing. Shushing. Oof. Wow. That's freaking. 
freaking amazing. So my verdict for this beautiful palette is it's beautiful. Like, do you really need much more to say about it other than it's beautiful? I mean, look at that. Look, look at it. Um, I hope it is showing as wonderfully on camera as it is in person. It looks so amazing. And so I am really, honestly, very excited that I purchased this. And I'm very, very happy to say that the formula does look as beautifully as the other ones do as well. So if you were hesitating on buying this palette, then please do not hesitate anymore. Go buy this palette. It is out today. And I know that other people will probably also be wanting this palette and it probably still will sell out even after the weird thing with the eyeshadow palette. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future. And maybe share it with your friends. Tell them what you think. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please comment down below. I read all of my comments. Also, I have a giveaway going on right now, so I will link that video in the description box below. And until next time, stay lovely. Bye!